So you might be wondering, all this time, does Revit actually use my GPU or my CPU in order to render an image? So in this video, I aim to answer that age-old question as to what hardware does Revit prefer to use for rendering. So before I get started, I'd like you to hit the like button and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's proceed to the view tab over here and click on render. Now let me just drag this panel over here. So let's try a high quality render over here. And let's choose a printer resolution here. Let's say 300, okay, 300 DPI is a bit high. 150 is about close to 5K resolution. And let's say that 75 is about 2560 by 1440p, so it's close to that. So, alright, let's try 75 dpi right now and use a high setting here. And let's leave the rest as is. And let's hit the render button. And now you can see that Revit is actually using my CPU at almost 100% just to render this. So that is one thing to note about Revit. You can barely use your GPU at all for rendering images like this. And that is why rendering in Revit is not really the best idea. I mean, it's better to use softwares like Lumion that can easily utilize your GPU. So I'll just wait for this to finish. And we finally finished rendering our image here in Revit. So it took us about 3 minutes and 17 seconds. And to give you context, I'm currently using an 8-core processor. So that helps a lot to speed up rendering in Revit. But if you're using a quad-core processor, you will wait for a lot longer. That's for sure. So now you might be thinking, what is the point of having a fast GPU? Well, in Revit, the GPU is only used for navigating in the 3D space. So I'll just quickly close this dialog box over here. And don't forget to save the image if you want to save it. So I'll just save it as a trial, for example. Trial render 1. Because if you were to click on X over here without saving, you will not be able to find the image under the renderings drop down over here. So that is one thing to note. So the only instance in which Revit will use a GPU is when I'm navigating in this 3D space. So for example, if I'm rotating, you can see that my GPU usage is hovering above 10% over here. So that's one thing to note about Revit. And you can actually increase the GPU usage if you switch to realistic over here. Now if I were to go and rotate about, it would use about 20% of my GPU usage and only about 10% of my CPU. It's still not fully utilizing the GPU, but nonetheless it's better than not using it at all. And that's it for my short tutorial today on what Hardware does Revit actually use? If you found this video useful, like this video and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and goodbye.